I'm really interested in the motivation for people to learn languages. And I started off my research with actually looking at the question in the world where everybody learns English, what is the point of learning a language at all if you're born with English? So English is one of your first languages or your first language. And the more I looked into this, the more I realized that um, language learning in all um, Anglophone countries, not just in Britain, is actually in very sharp decline. And uh, there is a real danger for people who are born with English 01 to actually end up as, as monolinguals um, and, and then losing out on the many benefits of multilingualism. So the research in motivation is actually with the aim to um, increase the, the take up of language learning in Britain as well as in other um, Anglophone countries. So recently I've published um, a number of articles that actually look into how this decline in language learning happens in England because a great number of factors come together to, to make this happen in terms of language policy, in terms of what children are asked to learn these days, in terms of what the schools themselves can decide to do, and in terms of how parents encourage their children, and of course the attitude of the children themselves. And then I've looked at um, how adults are motivated, and then there is a big, big difference in how they are motivated. So the next thing that I'm going to do, having established a theoretical framework for motivation here in Britain, is that we're going to take this research um, international. And I have collaborators now set up in Australia, um, America, New Zealand, so that we can actually have a joint effort into looking at A, the motivation, and B, how to improve it. And we have a number of interventions up our sleeves to actually go into schools to uh, motivate children better to learn languages.